All right, guys, so as you can see, this chain definitely needs to be adjusted. So, she got a lot of slack in her. I just put her on. So, we're gonna tighten up the chain. First, make sure you get it up, get it up on a stand. We're gonna move it, and then next, we're gonna move over to the other side and loosen up the axle nut. All right, guys, so I took it around the other side. Pretty much just, we're gonna have to loosen up. Action it. Hold the bike, tie it with one hand, just push it down. You don't need to take it off all the way. But just get it. Make sure it's just loose. I can move, yeah. So don't take it off all the way, just, yeah, there we go. There you go, make sure it's loose stuff. All right, so after you loosen up the axle nut, then you're gonna wanna get wrenches. I got a 12 and then a 10. So pretty much loosen this bolt up right here. This one just has to be loose, it doesn't have to be anything special. I'm going to do it to the other side. Get the other side just loose. Don't got to go that far. Nothing special. That was my 12. And then you're going to grab your smaller one, which is my 10. And I'm just going to do, I'm just going to say like, Three turns over here. Uh, maybe I'll do five. Let's go to the other side. I'll do five turns. the chain barely but it, it has gotten tighter we'll go I don't know maybe three more on this side one You always want to, so as it gets tighter and gets closer, you always want to be checking the tick marks and lighting it up to the axle block and making sure that it's, that it's going to be the same on each side um, and it'll ride so much better. So on this one, this one is definitely farther on this side. So I'm going to do it just a little bit more on this side compared to the other side. They're about the same on each side, so I'm just gonna keep going. Do it five more times. There's no specific way, I just like to go in sets of five. It's just easier to keep track of.
I'm gonna check the chain again. It's definitely getting way tighter. I'll do it five more times. All right, so we're getting, um, it's about four fingers. I like it in between three and four. And you can tell on both sides, we're at the second tick. Um, so I'm gonna just do it three more times on each side and we'll see how that goes. Do it three more times on this side. Sure. So that's about halfway past the second tape. On the other side, it's halfway past the second tape, so they're both about the same. So I was showing you guys right there to line them up. It's about halfway past the second tape. And then I can get a good angle. This right here, it's about halfway past the second tick. So then, I'm gonna push the back wheel forward. I'm gonna double check the chain. So, it is about three fingers. That's where I'm gonna go. Probably a little tight, but it'll loosen up them just as I ride and stuff. So now, hold this. You don't want to come back here. Get your 12 back out. Make sure the back wheel is pushed all the way up. I like to get one knee behind it sometimes. And then hold your 10 in place. And then just have this other bolt and scroll it all the way back up. And then you'll grab your 12 and tighten it down once you get it all the way. So just hold, make sure you're holding your, this 10 millimeter bolt down here in place or else it'll move around. I'm gonna try and tighten it. Try to get this tight and I can just get it snug. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Hold it in place with my 10. And then just tighten up my other one. So, then once I get it snug, I'm gonna get a little bit tighter. Make sure that it's tight. Come back over here. Make sure that this side is tight again. Get them out, go tight. Check the chain again. Got three fingers. And then now we're gonna tighten up the Tighten up the axle nut and we should be done. All right, so the last thing to do is tighten up the axle nut. Pretty much all I do is I just get it snug on there. And hand tighten it first a little bit.
this snug. Get it snug, and that's it. That's how you tighten up your chain.